Hello and welcome back to the port. I'm a guy major and this is something completely different. Uh, today we're just going to be looking through um, a gameplay kind of submitted by Morton. Uh, he's basically admitted that he's having some troubles with destroyers at the moment. Um, uh, so we're just going to take a look at just a game. Now obviously you can see it's quite a short game, uh, quite a short capture. Um, so today we're looking at the Akasuki, uh, looking at his commander build. So he's got uh, Tanaka or Tan uh, Tanaka, that's it. Uh, level 16, legendary 2. He's using Sims uh, level 12 and Reginald Tywit at level 8. Um, Reginald Tywit, I can see him being justifiable if you haven't got Eric Bay, but if you do have Eric Bay, then I'd be tempted to maybe use him if you can. Uh, Otherwise, there's not really much you can do, but I can see that you have kind of gone for maximum uh, concealment using that um, fragile threat. Um, go on for give me speed. I'd rather go for unstoppable, personally. That's my personal choice. But I can understand why you've gone for speed. Um, now one thing to note is, uh, strangely, you haven't got the third module on the um, on the ship, uh, so I just want to see what camera you're equipping there, uh, because uh, the interesting fact is when we go to the concealment, you're all detectability by C is 5.2, uh, obviously your commander is fully graded, so detectability there's as much as you can squeeze out of uh, Tanaka, uh, you've got a type 4 camo on, so that's as much as you can squeeze out of a camo. Um, so the only way you're going to get any more out of this is going to be Bay, um, and I'd say Bay is highly recommended. However, if you don't have Bay, then using Tywet is justifiable. So we jump into a game, and I'm just going to quickly fast forward. Uh, so it's a game of capture the base on land of fire. Now you spawned in the center, and I just want to pause it there. Uh, print screen, uh, chuck it up in paint, and then we can zoom in on it, uh, simply because... Uh, I have limited technology, so the, the quality of this may be a bit poor. Yeah, I want to stick with this. Um, so looking at the other team, the Shasho, sneaky sneaky, she's going to see you before you see her. Z23 gunboat destroyer, or mid-range slash gunboat destroyer, uh, she's going to have very good sonar. Now, one thing I've got is in my notebook that I have everything for the channel in. I have a, almost like a bookmark to a page which has everyone's radar and sonar range. Very important thing to have if you're a destroyer. And from this, I can quickly tell you that the Z23 has a sonar range of 4.4 kilometers. Now, the Helena, she's only got sonar. Uh, so in a range, I want to say it's like 3.9, it's slightly different. However, um, she does have 15 6 inch guns. You do not want to be getting anywhere near her if you can. Ideally, you don't want to be getting anywhere near any of these cruisers. Cruisers are destroyer killers. Atlanta is a well known one. And Atlanta comes with radar. That radar has a range of 8.4 kilometers and a duration of 25 seconds. The two Wichitas, they're both new to the game. However, they are horrible. Well, horrible for destroyers. They are vicious. Wichita has nine eight inch guns and she also comes with radar, which has a nine kilometer range for 30 seconds. The one to note is the Atlanta will come with sonar, which has a range of 4.2 kilometers. And then we have the Wichita, which has a sonar range of 4.4 kilometers. <clears throat> Now, battleships, you've got two Colorados in Iowa. That is your target. Okay, so these are the ones that you're going to bumble into with the shortest amount of notice and have to probably help your team kill. These are the ones that you need to stay the hell away from <laughs> as long as you can, really. And then these ones are the ones you're trying to torpedo. But in order to get to the battleships, you're going to have to get past their destroyer and cruiser screen. However, you shouldn't be doing that at the cost of overextending yourself. So we've got 13 seconds to the start of the game. So we just jump in here. And actually, while we've got that big map up on the right, let's talk about your team. So you're, you've got a division uh, about a squad here. Or, or well, I call them divisions, but they're not actually all divisioned up. So you've got to think the enemy is going to be the equivalent location will probably be Yep. Yep. And here. And that's about right. 
Now, you're also going to see that there's only two destroyers on your team. Neither of them are gunboats. Um, however, who's going to be your friends? Your friends are going to be the Belfast, the Atlanta, and the Helena, and the Chapayev, and the Wichita. Okay, so you've got a cruiser advantage of the of a team, but you don't have a battleship advantage. Right, so most of these, that's a smoke cruiser. Uh, these two are going to want to hide behind islands. Uh, Wichita and Chapayev may play open water. And so you've got to think, that's a Udachi. What's a Udachi going to do? Udachi is probably going to want to take up front and probably play that zone there. That's where the Udachi is going to go. So there's no point in you probably like doubling the same area. However, you can see there's no scouting potential for this flank. So I would pretend to say your zone of influence that you need to probably consider playing is going to be that big triangle there. You've got the most options. So if I was playing the... Akasuki, I think my temptation would be to head in this direction first and head to that gap in the islands. And then once I was there, I'd like to see which, whether these guys are pushing that way or this way or just staying put. If they stay put, and then you have to see what these guys do as well, whether they push this way or this way or come back to the base. It's, it's, you wouldn't believe it, you, you see that quite a lot. Now, ideally, um, if I had to pick the perfect play for your team, um, sorry about that. If I had to pick the perfect play for your team, which would be nice, um, I would say, Yudachi, I would like you to go this way. Uh, Battleship, I would like you to go this way to start with, and then think about it, and then that cruiser, I'd like you to head here. On this flank, I'd be tempted to say someone needs to go there. Someone probably needs to go down this way and scout and then maybe come back. And then this one probably needs to go this way. Almost like just seeing seeing what the enemy does. Now for you, I'd be tempted to head down this way. Go behind the island, not in front of it, behind the island. Go here and then from there you can work if you need to go that way, that way or that way that's your options you see keeping your options open because it all depends on this cruiser now this cruiser and this i mean i've attempted i'm not sure what this one is but i attempted to say this one should go over here and this one should go over there now obviously this does mean your base is open so that's why this one needs to obviously then be in a position where they can head back and this one can be in a position to head back and you can be in a position to head back but also by heading here you've almost blanked off this area <laughs> That would be what I would do in every single one of those ships, almost. Uh, but it's just me. Um, there's so many different ways you could play it. General quarters. And so while that's happening on the left, I just clear up the map. Okay, fair enough. Requesting assistance. So over here, uh, in yellow, I am just going to mark what you're doing. So you've basically started to head down this way and you fired your first batch of torpedoes, which I shall do in orange, all the way over here. And that's just, it's too early. There's not going to be anything there. You move a bit further on and you fire your torpedoes down there, which it doesn't seem, it's too early again. I would have held on to those torpedoes, you need them. Heading back to yellow, you're now coming round this island. Okay, so you're kind of heading to whereabouts I would expect you to go. However, you pick up a Helena and an Iowa. So because of the Iowa, you then pop off some torpedoes in that direction, fair enough. But you need to bear in mind that that Helena, which I'm going to mark in green, is here or going to be in that area, so that's a danger area. So I'd probably want to be staying away from that. You're also seeing that the Wichita is over here. About here, so again, another danger area here that you need to avoid. Set a smoke 
Now you get a torpedo hit there, but it's not on the Iowa, and it's Z23. So I just want to pause it there and go back to what we're doing over here on the right in paint. Uh, the reason why I'm doing it in paint at the same time is just in case some of you guys are, well, in case this video is stuttering. So you've now moved over here. So again, you're getting close to that danger zone that we've already identified, and the Z23 pops up. Now here, I would be tempted. So you're almost between, almost like a bit of a rock and hard place. You're actually probably more over there. Um, the reason why I say between a rock and a hard place is you've got an island here, island here, danger zone, danger zone. And this is where I would say if you can, you want to turn right and out and double back. If not, you're going to have to turn left, push up to the island and then double back. You, you're starting to overextend yourself. Um, now, the reason why I'm saying that you're overextending yourself is if I can just quickly grab a print screen. I'll paste that print screen and then we zoom in on the mini map. Uh, yes, it's incredibly pixelated. Your zone of influence from your team is quite limited. I mean, their zone of influence is probably there. That one's zone of influence is about there, about there, about probably about there. So you can see you're just starting to get on the edge of your team's zone of influence. Um, yes, it now looks like I've just drawn a load of yellow mess. But then if I undo all that, you can see that the zone of influence from your team, those cruisers there, but they probably can't see around those islands. Uh, this battleship can see pretty much up to there. So it's probably about here. That destroyer is probably seen up to the same line. That can't see. And that zone of influence, he can see around here, but he can't see there. He can see down here and maybe a bit in here, if you're lucky. In fact, I'd probably like to revise that last line probably say he can only really see like that so that's where your enemy can or by your friends can support you um, but then also it's worth mentioning this area here is quite a dead zone your team's not gonna be able to support you but also past this line is a dead zone your team's not gonna be able to support you and possibly mm, no nah, there's nothing more I can really add there it's the best way to put it so just go back to this and see how it goes. So laying the smoke screen for against the Z20. Z20. Z22. Z23, isn't it? So there's torpedo teams, two more rounds, um, and you aimed them quite in. I've been tempted to just do a wide band. I'll just try and do like an aerial denial and then try and hold onto one of those bands. Um, Torpedoes to port. Oh, there's a 23 trucks torpedoes at you. Real risking and oversteer. This gets very close. I'm hoping you guys are seeing this. But yeah, now you're heading into this danger zone. You're really overextended. And. Although we could probably watch a bit more, I think I can only pause it here and say you're going to need a miracle to survive. You're overextended, you're surrounded by radar cruisers with lots of guns that are just going to decimate you. You're not going to live much longer. What you should have done is you should be playing a lot further back. So I'm just going to pause it. I will just grab that. I'll just paste it in here if it works. Zoom in on this. You can already see how overextended you are. And you shouldn't be here. I'm going to go back and I know it's a bit repetitive. But looking at where your team is now. Uh, the ideal positions for you at the moment would be in here. But that's where the Udachi should be. Here. Or actually where your Udachi is you can see and then you can see how far back they are um, it's about staying in range of your teammates um, I don't think there's gonna be much point watching the rest of this now I know going through it um, I, I will just show it at the end uh, 
he does make a decent amount of damage at the end of the day, uh, 58,000 damage from torpedoes. Uh, the problem is he's now so far isolated, getting picked up by radar. He's just not going to live long. Now this clip I have seen before. I'm going to jump to this one. Fingers crossed it works. Now this one I haven't seen before. So let's just see how this one turns out. Um, now I will just skip in quite a bit of um, intro to this. Uh, equips a decent camouflage. Uh, still the same Akasuki. Uh, so this is another game of capture the base and this time we're on Atlantic. And again I'm just going to grab this. I'm going to print screen it. Chuck it into trusty old paint. Let's bring that up. Let's have a look at this. So this, okay, so it's tier five and six game. Um, let's see, what can we read out of this? Um, Fubuki, sneaky, sneaky. Guidey, radar, gonna be very, very good. What is it gonna be? 4.2 kilometers. Akasugi, sneaky, sneaky. Atlanta, we've already covered in this video, but that is radar, 8.4 kilometers, 25 seconds. Helena, we've already covered, lots of 15 inch guns. And then we're on to your target. So this, I would say, is a lot better game for a destroyer. You need to be wary of. Um, so the ones you want to not, <laughs> the ones you want to avoid mostly is the Gaidi or Gaidi, the Atlantic and the Helena. So you need to keep an eye out on those. You might be able to win a gun battle against the Fubuki, um, maybe the Akasuki, depending on the build, battleships. Well, you shouldn't be getting detected by them. You're supposed to be staying away from them and torpedoing them. Okay, so let's see how this turns out. And actually, while we're there, I will just make this map bigger. And while that's playing out on the left, uh, destroyer-wise, I would say this one's probably going to head this way or that way. Don't shoot. Don't do it now. It's far too early. This one will probably play there or there. For you, I would be tempted to head this way. Stay behind the iron, stay behind the iron, see what your teammates do, and then maybe come up. So we're just going to let this uh, play out for a second, and then I'll grab a screenshot uh, just to see what what's happened with your team uh, and see whether I agree with it. So you're heading, yeah, you're kind of heading in the general direction where I would actually, which is a nice thing to talk about. Whether that's a good thing or not, we'll find out. I think you're entering this open water too soon. I'm actually going to screenshot it now. So I will pause this, print screen, go back to this, head over to the top corner, control V. Right, I know it's pixelated badly, guys. But one destroyer is there, perfect. One destroyer here, perfect. One destroyer here, and you've got your teammates backing you up. Um, but what you need to mention, notice is by pushing in here, this cruiser can't see this zone. This zone is a dead zone to your friendly cruiser and your battleship, pretty much. So, this is why. You, Pushing into it is a bit risky at the moment because you don't have the backup of your friends or your friendly teammates, I should say. Okay, let's continue. Target. Oh, promoting my own videos again, sorry. <laughs> again, firing torpedoes far too early. Hold, hold on. If you're gonna fire off random torpedoes, at least do a wide band because then you're doing a bit of aerial denial, only do a single wide band, you know, you never might, you never, you might catch something out, but firing a narrow band uh, is a bit... <sighs> it's kind of like all or nothing. So what's that, sorry? Um, controls, uh, right, so I'm not control C, I'm going to do... Uh, I hope you're not hearing the missus in the background, but if you hear the missus in the background, uh, I hope you don't mind. It's a Helena. Turn away, turn away now. You should not be, as soon as you've seen that cruiser there, you need to be going this way ASAP. You do not want to be getting anywhere near. You want to be, if I zoom in on this, you want to be going boop, straight away. 
you don't want to be playing. You probably want to go boop there, come back, and then play in there, and then and then see. You know, just just play around in this area. You don't want to be getting any closer to that. You can't. No point shooting her unless you're going to lay a big smoke screen. And you know this person has got a view on her, but at the moment where she is, she's completely obscured to your cruiser. Right. Let's see how this goes. No, don't, don't, don't hold. If you're gonna chuck torpedoes down there, I would be right print screen. Actually, I can just do it on this screen. If you're gonna be firing torpedoes, you have gotta think the Helena's gonna want to stop about here because she's a, a light cruiser. She's gonna want to be chucking HE up over this. So I would be tempted to do wide band there, wide band there. And if you hadn't fired that wide band, I would have done narrow band there as well. So then that way. I just control Z all this. What you want is you want a narrow band covering this section. You want a wide band probably covering that section, and a wide band probably covering that section. Just aerial denial. Make sure that she has to do something silly. For either force her out from behind the island, but also if she does try and play in this area, if she turns broadside on to turn away, she's going to get hit. So that means then she's got to turn probably into your torpedoes and overextend herself it's probably a little bit a little bit much there that would be what i would have done because you can see she's slowing down again inside my head i'm screaming stop going yes okay we're turning back we're turning back that's good now i'm sure the uh, video is stuttering like mad guys because um because the camera keeps swishing around. Okay, that torpedo's reloaded. We've got something else down there, champs, as well, don't we? Is that what I think it is? New Mexico. Okay, yeah, New Mexico, I would say, is your priority target. I'd probably be chucking some torpedoes out of New Mexico and you can see that if you did that crazy wide band stuff you could have possibly caught that head in there out but because you've done a narrow band um narrow bands only covered up a little bit if you did a wide band if so if you had that narrow band wide band wide band you would have possibly caught that um head in there out um Admittedly, would have only been one torpedo, and she may have dodged it, but it's it's making players... This thing, narrow band is good for killing a player. A wide band is good at making an enemy player do something that they really don't want to do sometimes. Okay, go back to this. So you stopped and you laid the smoke screen. Okay, well, while I've got this up here, this is what you want to be thinking. You're laying a smoke screen. Okay. So you're going to lay smoke screens, anything you can see is going to disappear because you can't see them anymore. And you've got to think, if I could just make this, uh, maybe if I do shapes and I do a line, you've got to think from this ship, um, it's only got visibility there. That's all it can see. So if you lay a smoke screen, they're going to disappear. So this is very, very crucial. Um, so this is where I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna put two vid uh, videos links in the description. Uh, shall I tag, tag them top right now? First of all, I would have a shipping forecast for destroyers. Uh, this is basically a guide to reading what's on the other team, what you need to do. Uh, you may already have watched this. Fair enough. The other one is how to smoke uh, now it is how to smoke for british however i think there's some things there that are very critical to all smoke ships so i'm going to have that carded top right as well oh you didn't let smoke screen i do apologize you turned your engine boost on and now you spot it. Smoke generator started. Now you let you smoke. What spotted you? I have no idea what's happened there. I do apologize.
there. You got to destroy your bum. So again, this thing you can now see. Wow, I hope you guys can see. His team, his front team's front line is here, with the main bulk of his team here, and this is you on your own. So the ranges of influence from your team again would be like that. So that's like the range of influence of your team. So you're well outside it again. So definitely overextended. And if you'd done like what I had said at the start, which was like continue coming back, you'd still be within that range of influence is the best way to put it. This is the thing it's about the, like teamwork isn't about hoping the team does the right thing for you you've also got to read what they're doing and then how that affects you so here you have to run you've got a destroyer on your case we don't know what it is um <coughs> pardon me so you have to run because for all we know it could be something gunny Don't shoot your torpedo boat. If you shoot now, you've got no way of dropping detectability. If they spot you, you're going to be detected for 10 seconds. Torpedoes to port. There's torpedoes to your rear. Torpedoes astern. More torpedoes. torpedoes to port. And more torpedoes. Now they're coming in batches of three, so at least we can read that and understand that it is going to be a Japanese destroyer. All stations, concentrate fire. No, again, I would have wide banded that, you know, just get the largest coverage. Um, you're not really aiming at something. Why? What was that torpedo band aimed at? That's, that you're just chancing your arm. You can see the heaven is going quite fast. Okay, fair enough, yeah. I agree with that one. But the problem is you're, you're firing your torpedoes off in dribs and drabs. You're not saving them up. Like, if you're going to torpedo a battleship, what you want to do is save, like, fire all nine of your torpedoes at it uh, to cover off multiple angles. There you fired one torpedo spread off towards the smoke screen, one torpedo spread off towards New Mexico, one torpedo spread off to presumably the Helena, which is... You're not making it difficult for them to avoid them. All stations, concentrate fire on the target. Affirmative. Okay, you're definitely falling back. So this this is a lot more a lot more in tune with what I do. Okay, I'm gonna have to agree with you there. Oh, damn, sorry chaps. We'll just make that disappear. There we go. <laughs> well you just get to see the software that I use in the background sometimes. Um Okay, yeah, I know, it's pixelated, it's poor quality. Um, so here, okay, you've got a big fluster cluck, and you've got a lone wolf, and you're here. So you're you're more in protection of your team now. You're no longer for overextended, but you know from the enemy team... Oh, right, let's redo that. You've got battleship pushing down, cruiser pushing down, Destroyer, I would say the destroyer has either gone this way or that way. She's either behind you or off to your left. This is going to be interesting because I actually haven't watched this one before. Okay, you can see the Helena's coming round the right side of that island. Oh no, she's going around the left side of the island, that's the spotter aircraft going over. So again, staying away from spotter aircraft, good thing to do. Now here, I would be tempted to look at that um, team map of your team and see which destroyer is left on the enemy team. So then you know what you're dealing with behind you. Okay, that's a fire. And, and another one, and another one. <laughs> more, more torpedoes. 
uh, white band. Sorry, right. I just wanted to, I just want to show you like there I would have probably fired all my torpedoes at the Bayern, but here you're shooting at a cruiser. And I would say wide band one and two. Just cover off this area and this area. Try and deny the Helena space. However, you know well it's a Helena and looking at the mini map she does not want to be broadside on to this and this so she's going to point that way which means she's probably going to point this way so yeah yeah you could maybe justify putting torpedoes there to try and force the broadside on but if it was me all my torpedoes would be on their way to the Bayern already again the team needs to grip and grab your torpedoes I know it's maximizing your possible wow well, possible hits on target but it's also it's maximizing your possible hits on lots of targets whereas you're probably about I if you're playing the Japanese DD and the main advantage against them is being able to just one punch something if you fire enough torpedoes at it okay the Helen has uh, changed attack and you got the Bayern so the Bayern that you fired one volley at um, it has gone which is good um, and we can see that Helen's actually turned to go that way and we have New Mexico coming in down that way a one torpedo hit on New Mexico and why, why have you started firing what what possessed you to do that Why? There. It's alright. Get up. Just spotted. For uh, well, I don't know what it is. I'm going to say it's for Buki, but I, actually, I don't know what it is. Uh, and then you've got the Helena. Um, your smoke screen reloads in 11 seconds. Okay. So I'd probably smash on the engine boost, turn away, gonna have to. However, Helena does have 15 6 inch guns. <laughs> you got now this is where early in the video where I said maybe take on stop all yeah lay the smoke screen turn stop in the smoke screen you got to cover what is it it is a kabuki <laughs> okay stop stop there stop there stop stop your, your smoke screen you're, you're leaving the smoke screen <laughs> okay so that was played very I have to be honest, that was playing very close to how I would play it. It's not too dissimilar. Um, if I go back to um, paint, um, I would love to just drop it back to the uh, map at the start of the game here. Right, if I go back to that, um, and I maximize this, how you played it, you came this way, you went this way. Now, you went out in here, you started to head this way, came back, stopped for a bit, got detected, broke away, came back this way. Now, this is just generalistically, then you went that way, and then I think you then turned back, and then you got killed probably about, let's say, here. A general vague gist. My temptation would have been to head, yeah, this way, and then this way, and then I would have peeked and then dipped back, staying behind the island rather than go around the front. Would have then peeked here, and yeah, I probably would have gone here. But then I would also have seen that my team was just too far back and probably gone. Well, there's no point in me playing this. And I probably already started retreating and heading 
just back this way again just retracing my steps seeing what's happening though it's if they did start pushing the way they did i would have yeah probably just kept moving back moving back moving back um trying to stay <laughs> in the range of your zone i mean the way you've played it it's very similar to how i would have played it um it's just that last moment it literally really is just the last moment in this area when things just go they go brown is the best way to put it um a squeaky bomb time is what some people would say is that you've got helena um if i do control z z z z um the enemy helena has come uh from here down this way she's come here and she's come here fabuki has come here gone around there and she chased you up the bum that i thought she would and she came into the zone and then you've got the new mexico which come here and come here and your assets aren't with you and your your trapped x marks the spot where you're trapped between this and this and it's your only option is that way and They've got a spotter aircraft up. You probably should have just laid a big smoke screen and ran, um, and then probably played it on the edge of your zone. But I think on that one, it was just down to your team. Oh well, guys, um, this has been something completely different. Um, I'm not sure if I will make more of these or not. Uh, it depends what the reception is like to this video. Um, but obviously, this is just to try and help people. Um, so obviously positive criticism if, if you can guys um that what we want to do is try and encourage players to stay with the game and get better at the game um because probably people just get frustrated and leave um and ideally you want people to get better and stay because the larger the player base the larger the community the longer the game's going to last and things like that oh well if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you like this kind of content um let me know uh comments below um <laughs> i've been the guy for major I'm back to the port.